Welcome to another episode of Prodigy Diaries. My name is Seppo Bayou. I am at the first stop of the European Pro Tour of 2023 season in Copenhagen Open. It's somewhat early in the morning. FPO Future Card just teed off and I am here following them. And uh, I came here not to play myself except a couple fun rounds but to show you what European disc golf scene is all about on the highest level there is. This is the European Pro Tour, the biggest tour in Europe there is and uh, season is officially on. Let's go see what's happening. Last year's champion Rachel Turton wasn't able to continue her great play from last year. Prodigy's new team player from Estonia, Kaidi Alsalu, played the hot round of plus five. Can you describe the round a little bit? Oh, windy, <laughs> definitely. Uh, I don't know, it was good. Uh, I'm satisfied with my game. There were mm, few mistakes, but uh, overall I'm, I'm happy and the wind is uh, really, really crazy. Well, perfect. Thank you very much. And we'll see you on the lead count tomorrow. Thank ah, you. Thank you. <laughs> Have you ever thought about what goes into making a tournament like this? Well, here are some things that goes into it. The tour needs partners, what European Pro Tour has lots of. UDISC partnered up with the European Pro Tour since the very beginning, which provides live scoring. Flying Plate Company has provided our caddies with the vests. Natural Born Disc Golfer and More Disc Golf Media are there to make the live stream happen, which is sponsored by Power Grip, Zuka and Prodigy. PDGA Europe is also a supporter of European Pro Tour. The course needs spotters, crowd control, the live stream needs videographers, live stream platform, commentators, the tournament needs the tournament director and tons of volunteers. The course needs to be ready at least by Monday of the tournament week. You need to design the layout first of all. Draw the course map, mark OB lines, change basket, put up the banners, mark circles and... New addition to the European Pro Tour is the 100 meter mark which is uh, marked with the red uh, stripes and then maybe there you can see the 50 meter mark that's marked with the yellow stripes. This hole right here is called the pinball. When I started playing here back in 2010, they used to name all these holes. There was like a, the Gordon and the S curve and this one was called the pinball and rightfully so. We actually played around here yesterday and filmed our shots on this hole and you'll know exactly why this hole is called the pinball. In the MPO we had a total of 12 team players out of 102 competitors and 4 in the FPO out of 24 competitors. The first round in MPO was a good one for our new Estonian player Mauri Vilman. He played himself into the lead card with a solid minus 7.
I always thought that playing a competition is like hard on you, like it takes a lot on you. But actually, being here all day, I got here today at like 9 a.m. It's 10 past 5 now, so I have been here for 8 hours. We're not even close to being done yet. Uh, I've been filming, I've been walking the course probably twice or three times. And uh, yeah, standing almost all day. It's pretty exhausting, actually it feels like a lot more exhausting than competing. But talking about competing, I have played the Copenhagen Open myself like six times or something like that. And uh, because this is a video made by me, I'm gonna put a highlight reel of sorts of my shots from here, from the years past, just because I can. So enjoy it. European champion from Finland, Seppo Bayer. In the first two rounds our players have been absolutely killing it. We have the leader in both divisions and bunch of other great positions as well. Tinia Väisänen and Jenni Karppinen are both in the hunt for podium. Rachel got the hang of the wind in the second round. Matias Villota, Rasmus Tuominen, Joona Salta and Henrik Haakman are all fighting for top 10. Going into the final round, Kaidi will be your leader with 7 stroke margin. Jenny Karpinen will join her teammate Kaidi in the lead card. Mauri Vilman will have to share his lead with Daniel Davidson and Samuel Hanninen. Class, class of her own, no one could match Kaidi Alsala this weekend. Dominant victory, she has just catapulted herself onto the Three top stage, stage of this get a playoff. And the, uh, yes, he does, Roll. without a doubt. Fantastic display of wonderful disco here in Valwood Park, and then we are going to see some more. We will have a sudden death for the win between Samuel Hanninen and Mauro Wilman. Okay, so a short break for the players. Here he's, yeah, he's got a, no hurry. Oh, oh yes. yes! Listen to that! Can you respond to that? That was of such, a, such a clutch putt from Maori. Approach this. Oh, no, don't no. think that's going to get all the way there. It could be in the circle. No. Similar sure. distance. A little putt off from different directions ooh, here. Oh, ooh, the duel continues. <laughs> Oh, oh my oh. gracious, what a clutch. What a feeling.
thanks for watching.